Hi, it's Dr. Tara Scott with Revitalized Medical Group. We've been talking about treatments for the adrenal gland, and today I want to talk about sleep. This is the other thing that I really, really had to change when I uh, discovered that I had a sluggish adrenal gland. After years of delivering babies and working night shifts and working 36 hours a row, all hours of the night, I really killed my adrenal glands. And so what I found was I'd be working all night up delivering babies and the next day I had problems falling asleep. I was tired but wired. So I began to take less call and eventually stop delivering babies because I just couldn't take the being up at night. I became, became very strict about my bedtime and I found that if I didn't go to bed before 10.30 at night, I had a problem falling asleep. The reason this is important is because your cortisol will start to rise and so if you go to bed at 11.30 or 12, all of a sudden your cortisol is going up and you start having more energy and so you're tired and wired. So if you can get to bed before that spike, you're going to sleep a little bit better. And the other thing I noticed is that if I didn't get to bed early enough, I would always wake up early like at 4 a.m. And so that is when your cortisol starts to rise for the morning again. So you really want to have a good anchor of sleep prior to that. And there are supplements that can help you sleep. One good one I like is called L-theanine. And that is very safe. There's very little drug-drug interactions with that. And that is really, really good if your mind is racing and songs are going through your head and you're tossing and turning. It doesn't sedate you. It just helps to change the brain waves into a more creative, relaxed brain wave. And so you could take 200 milligrams of that. The other supplement that I really like to take is melatonin. Uh, melatonin is safe anywhere from one to three milligrams. For me, I love the sublingual dosing that melts on your tongue and it kind of like, I'm like Pavlov's dog. I get that you know pill in my mouth, it starts to, to, to melt and then I'm instantly drowsy. So for me, it really works. But you wanna keep that to one to three milligrams. And just make sure you protect the hours that you're in bed and give your body enough sleep.